Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claymore. You can like our Facebook pages entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. You can also join our groups under the same names on Facebook. This is brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. We will talk about the shield of faith. Let us pray, Heavenly Father. You are our great King. You are faithful. You're loving. You're sweet. You are the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, first and the last. And we honor you and give you praise and glory on today. Forgive us of all sins, creating us a clean heart, renew a right spirit within us, God. And Lord God, though our sins as far from the east as from the west, never to be remembered anymore. Because you are faithful and just to cleanse us. Oh, Father, and we thank you. We ask you to open up our ears to hear and our spirit to receive the word of God, release salvation, heal and deliver signs, wonders, and miracles. We pray for release fresh revelation and confirmation of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. The Shield of Faith. The Roman shield of that time, of the time, was called a scutum. The type of shield was as large as a door and would cover the warrior entirely. Such a shield was not just defensive, but could also be used for or used to push opponents. When fighting as a group, a plantation of soldiers, a plant not plantation, plant of soldiers could position their shields as so as to form a enclosure around themselves called a testido or tortoise. This was especially helpful to protect against arrows launching from the walls of the city they are attacking. Shields often made of wood, then covered in hide when wet, could extinguish flaming arrows. Clearly, a shield vitally important to a soldier. It provides a blanket of protection. It is meant to be taken up in all circumstances. It is better. It is the first barrier against the en enemy's attack. Often shields were painted with identifying marks. A Christian who takes up the shield of faith identifies himself as a foot soldier who serves the commander of the Lord's army, which is the Lord. Okay, God, Jesus. Okay. Satan's attack can sometimes cause us to doubt God. Faith prompts us to believe God. We give it we give in to temptation when we believe what it ha what it has to offer is better than what God has promised. Faith reminds us that though fulfillment of God's promise may not be readily visible to us, God is true to his word. When Satan attempts to pl 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 plunge us with doubt to, or, entice, and, or entice us, instant gratification. Faith recognizes the decisiveness of his tactics and quickly extinguishes the, the arrows. When Satan accuses us, Faith chooses to believe that Jesus has redeemed us and that there is no condemnation. You can find that in Romans 8 and 1. Uh, faith is one of the greatest gifts. It is the means by which we receive grace and come to right relationship with God. It is important we have been that we, we, we belong to God and have peace with Him. Faith is the doorway to hope. I love that. Faith is the doorway to hope. I love it because faith, hope, and love work together, but faith and hope like kind of like work together simultaneously in God because we have faith in God. Our suffering need to fizz us. In fact, we can, we can preserve, we can 
Yeah, we can preserve under it. The thing Satan attempts to use this to discourage us can actually become tools in the hands of God. Faith is a protective barrier between us and the schemes of Satan. When we believe God and take him at his word, we remain grounded in truth. The lies of the enemy lose their power and we become overcomers. In that way, faith is our shield. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer and really mean it. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus died, buried, rose, sit at the right hand of the Father, and coming back for me again. I confess the Lord Jesus as Savior, and I open up the door to my life and let him in. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church so I can work in your vineyard. Fill me with your Holy Spirit so I can be a witness in the earth and have power over the devil. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the land, book of life, and the race off the quarters of hell. Get you a Bible. Start reading the book of Psalms of Proverbs, which is in the Old Testament. Proverbs will teach you how to live. And Psalms will teach you how to praise, worship, and pray. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests and praise reports, you can email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com. Inbox us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministries uh, page, pages. You can sow your seed by cash app at Blondie, Blondie Badger and that's spelled B-L-O-N-D-I-E B-A-D-G-E-R. You can Send a check on morning order. Make a payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. Inbox us on Eagle Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry Facebook pages to get the address to mail your seat. Your offering will go the front of the Kingdom of God. This was brought to you by the partners, prayer warriors, and supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive and remember, there is hope. Be blessed.